just a, a quick introduction. Uh, so we have Walter New right here, who's a re-recording engineer. Um, and of course, on top of doing music production and a whole lot of other things. But uh, if you have any interest as far as what might happen to your stems after they leave your studio and go to the dubbing stage and everything, it would be good to point your, your, your question to him. Uh, we also have Joel Goldsmith on the end here, um, composer for Stargate Atlantis on top of uh, a ton of other things, and we're really happy to have him here. Um, and then sitting next, right, right next to him is uh, Kevin Kiner, who's uh, currently on the CSI Miami, and, uh, and uh, we're very happy to have him. And Chris Stone, who uh, will be up here in just a, m a moment, He's, he works on, uh, probably you've probably seen him downstairs at the Audio Impressions booth. Okay, well I'm a re-recording mixer, which means, uh, for film and television now, which means uh, I mix uh, music together with dialogue and, and sound effects. Um, I uh, mixed a soap opera for a long time on NBC called Passions. Lately I've been doing a lot of independent movies. I just did one called Keith that has Jesse McCartney in it. And i um, currently building a studio in my backyard. If anybody has any advice on that. Kevin, could you tell us what you've been working on lately? I, I just uh, currently I'm working on uh, the new Star Wars uh, animated feature, which is called Clone Wars, Star Wars Clone Wars. And um, it didn't start actually as a feature, it started as a TV series. They probably wouldn't have hired me if they'd known it was going to be a feature. You know, I mean, everybody knows what happened to Elf Clausen, which is like kind of a travesty. You know, that, but it, they they um, we did it, the first three episodes were a three-parter, and then George Lucas decided, in only the way he can, is like, oh, we'll do a part one to the three-parter. <laughs> you know, it's like only he can think in that order. But I, I think it needed more juice, and and I. I, I I think it, it warranted it because it, the TV series is it looks better and more interesting and different from any TV series there as far as an anime series it is so I, I recorded a lot of the feature in Prague um, but because I recorded the first three ep episodes already a lot of the soundtrack is also recorded in my studio um, using some of the audio impression stuff some of Sorry. a lot of other things too so right here, it's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> We're pretty much done now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> um, I, I'm in the midst of a season of Stargate Atlantis. <coughs> We're doing, um, I guess, 20 episodes, and we're like almost in the middle. Actually, not around six. Um, it's basically about a weekly. We deliver every week. Um, we just finished up a couple of films for Stargate, which we did orchestrally in Seattle. Basically, that's what we're focused on right now. That's what we're focused on right now. Um, been trying to um, interface Divisi into my system as it's been developing. I feel like right now it's at the point that it's going to become a big part of my system, you know, um, as it's improved. You know, Kevin, I think, got the very first system. Yeah, you did. Sucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, any questions? Let's start with that. Anyone got any questions? No, about you're supposed that? to say so what's what your it credits is, and who are you, man? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> really, that's the basic Hi. question. Who are you? What do you do? Uh, I, I am a, uh, a recovering TV composer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris, recovering TV composer. Hi, Chris. <laughs> You Fuck you, give me another drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, 35 years of abuse uh, from first-time directors, and I decided to start my own company uh, to get back at them. Um, uh, basically, I developed this for me originally. Uh, I want to have a library for, I mean, really, first of all, I have a library that not only sounded great, but also worked mechanically the way an orchestra works mechanically. Because I got sick and tired of spending 20 grand plus having some guy getting real rich taking my, it's track, my volume track, my da-da track, my da-da track, and turning it into a score. Um, waste, waste of money, waste of time, a huge amount of uh, 
expense and really time that I could not spend just making a living because I had to deal with uh, loading, unloading stuff, trying this out, going through, gee, is that glissando going to work? Hmm, let me go through, you know. Uh, quick, immediate, works the way an orchestra works so you can print exactly what you've written, have it go without needing to go through expensive orchestration process because mechanically it does real time to VZ so when you play the chords, whatever you're playing, it actually parts out the chords the way an orchestra does. It's what we call subtractive polyphony as opposed to standard libraries which are additive polyphony, the way an organ works. So this is why people have classically said, you know, when you start playing things that are really thick, and we said, boy, it really sounds like the mighty Wurlitzer. Why? And the, re the, re the, re the reason is because of the mechanics. It works like a, it works the way an organ works when you start playing huge stuff. So when you play one note at a time, like single lines, it's, it's okay because it's the mechanics of the way an orchestra really works. You've got 25 people in a section. You play one note at a time. It's going to be 25 people. Okay. Now you play two night notes at a time. Now you've got 50 people. Three notes. 75 people. Uh oh, starting to sound like an organ. What we do is the way an orchestra works. If you've got 25, uh oh, I'm going to have to start doing that. That's why. 12 and a half. And when you play three notes, it's. <laughs> so so, so it, divi it divides it out so that if you're just playing violins once, right? And Because it's spread out in five stamps violins one, violins two, violas, cello, and bass. So let's say I was just soloing violins one, and I played a nice big fat chord way up high, you know, a real kind of, uh, oh, I don't know, Wagnerian kind of, you know, thing. Well, instead of it sounding like a big string wad, what you're going to get is you're actually going to get each stem playing out the chords. This adds two, two benefits. Number one, it styles like a real orchestra. Number two, it's printable. Number three, is that in your mix, it stays at a constant a constant volume. It's a constant sound, power, volume. Which is, you don't have to constantly ride your volume. You know, like, uh, I'm sure you notice that, like, if you're just playing one note, so it's, now say you're playing notes, ah, da, 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 because it's adding up. So when you go to do a standard Bach up, you know, your volumes are going like berserk. You know, so out comes Master X, you know, to make everything, you know, crush down to where it's supposed to sound. You don't need that with this. You know, you go to play you go to play a huge chord, it's the same basic volume as doing the same velocity with one note. The way an orchestra does it. That's why when you see an orchestra recording, you know, when you're on a session and they start playing a million notes, you don't suddenly see the meters go peg. And that's because they're dividing it out. That's the way it really works. So it was it was designed so that also um, I got tired of working with libraries where suddenly you had a choice, a quartet or a thousand people. <laughs> you know, what are you supposed to do with a, a, a TV score comedy that needs strings? Okay. You know, so you, you're, you're, you're left to make one or two, whatever, you know. With this, you get to choose one desk at a time, exactly the number of players, you, you want to use. So if you're dealing with something that's more intimate, right, a smaller score, you don't want a, you know, a mil, you know, you don't want the LSO, you know, you want a chamber group. Okay, fine, you dial in. 